The table shows the height of thick trees harvested by farmer. Find the median height. For us to find the median height, we need to know the number of trees that the farmer harvested. So, total frequency, which is the total number of trees you harvested, is 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2. If we sum this up, this will give 27. Since it is odd, the median position is n plus 1 over 2 position. And n is this total frequency, which is 27 plus 1 over 2, which is 28 over 2, and which is 14th position. So, how do we get the 14th position? We will go to the number of trees and start looking for the cumulative frequency. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. So, the 3 at the 14th position is 5. Is the 3 with height 5. So, the 3 at the 14th position is with height 5 meters. So 5 is the median. The second thing we are asked to look for is to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So let's draw the frequency table. This is x, this is f, we need fx to get the mean, we need x minus x bar to get the deviation, we need x minus x bar all square, and we need fx minus x bar all square to get the standard deviation. So our x are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the frequencies are 4, 6, 4, 5, 6, 2. And when we times this, we have 12, 24, 20, 30, 42, 16. So we need the mean in order to proceed. Summation of fx. If we sum this, we'll get 144. And so the mean, that is b, I, the mean, as we all know, is giving us summation of fx over summation of f, which is n. Summation of f, we have gotten as 27. And so this is 144 over 27. And when we divide this, we have 5.333, which is approximately 5.3. So when we subtract the mean from each of the variable x 3 minus 5.3 is minus 2.3 and if we square it we have 5.29 and if we times it by the frequency 4 we have 21.16 4 minus 5.3 is minus 1.3 and if we square it we have 1.69 and if we times it by the frequency which is 6 we we'll have 10.14 5 minus 5.3 we we'll have 0 0.3 and if we square it we we'll have 0 0.09 we we'll times it by the frequency which is 4 we we'll have 0 0.36 6 minus 5.3 is 0 0.7 if we square it, we have 0 0.49. If we times it by the frequency, we have 2.45. 7 minus 5.3 is 1.7. If we square it, we have 2.89. If we times it by the frequency, which is 6, 
we have 17.34. 8 minus 5.3 is 2.7. If we square it, we have 7.29. We times it by the frequency, which is 2, we have 14.58. If we sum this all together, we we'll have 66.03. And so, our standard deviation is given by the formula square root of summation of f x minus x bar all square over summation of f which is square root of 66.03 over 27. And this is square root of, if we divide, 2.445. If we take the square root of this, we have 1.563, approximately 1.6. Thank you.